The 2022.2 version of SA offers some significant advancements in its support of the Nikon Aptis laser radar. What we've done is add both additional capability to the interface and to SA itself to allow for automated feature measurement. So let's take a closer look. First of all, under instrument, there's a hardware capabilities option. So you can check to see if the gauging engine is an option for you. This can also be checked from MP and scripts so that it can be added directly as part of an automated process. If it is available, what you can do is go to the targets list and you'll see a new gauging engine section for circles, sl round slots, and square slots. These profiles now have uh, the ability to be configured and you can add new ones and name them with different save settings. And there's a couple of important things. First of all, it has measured settings as to how you're gonna be measuring the feature and then what is sent to SA. So you could add a new one, for example, let's say we wanna copy this GR circle and we'll then edit this properties to send both a circle and cloud data. So you can send whichever kind of data do you want. The circle is extracted directly as part of the analysis onboard the instrument and can be sent to SA. You can then send the cloud data or the combination thereof. And I'll just send both. And you can also adjust how it's measured. Let's say nine scan lines, or you can speed up that process and change the spacing. So all these controls are now inside of this gauging engine uh, to target definition. And that target definition can then be set within a particular feature. So th this feature, for example, you can go into inspection and configure instrument. And this allows you to then look to see what definitions have been defined and you can select them by name. And you can then apply to the selected if you want to apply to others. So your list can have features with different definitions and all of them can be measured at different ways. What we've got in addition to that is the ability to associate measured geometry directly. What this does is it does a comparison only as opposed to fitting a circle to data. It simply analyzes the measured circle and compares it to the nominal and provides that information for reporting purposes. So let me give you a quick demonstration of that. So what you can do is go under this auto measure button and select batch of features. And then you have the ability to select any individual or combination of features if you want. So let's just select a few of these and press OK. As soon as you press OK, it'll automate and run and go out and measure those features. And as you see, they'll populate in the tree and you'll get the measurements. And for this circle, you'll see that the measured circle is associated and no additional data was, was actually associated. So it's just a direct feature to feature comparison. However, we also sent the cloud data. So the cloud data is captured in the tree if you wanted to look at it for validation or uh, error, if you knew there were some bad points and that sort of thing. But if you open the report bar and click on one of these features, you'll see that all of the information, the normal criteria that you would expect in a geometry relationship is now included and you have a direct comparison between these two measured features. So it's an easy way to blast through a large number of feature measurements in one go. So this is something that's only been recently added in the 2022.2 version of SA.